Hi friends, I hope you all are doing well today. I'm going to read you the story, Too Loud Lily. This part of the book is called the front, this part of the book is called the spine, and this part of the book is called the back. Here's the title page, Too Loud Lily, written by Sophie Laguna. She's the one who wrote the words in the story and illustrated by Carrie Argent. She is the one who drew all the pictures for us to look at. Everybody told Lily Hippo she was too loud. Lily Hippo, keep it down, please. I can't hear myself think, said Dad. Lily Hippo, sing quietly. You'll wake the baby, said Mom. Lily Hippo, you make more noise than a herd of wild elephants, said Lily's big brother. So what's the problem? Lily tried doing something very quiet. What do you think Lily can do that's quiet? Lily Hippo, not so loud, they all said. Why do you think they want Lily Hippo to be quiet? At school, Lily's best friends were Hester and Lou. Sometimes even Hester and Lou were upset with Lily. She was too loud. Then a new teacher came to Lily's school. Her name was Miss Lupiola, and she wore a big red poncho. She taught music and drama. Lily liked Miss Lupiola. She decided to be in the school play. What is Miss Lupiola wearing? A red poncho. Ooh, and a pretty necklace. On the first day of rehearsals, Miss Lupiola taught everyone a fast stomping dance. Rehearsal means when you're practicing for a performance and stomping means you're moving your feet hard. Lily tried to do the dance very quietly. Wonderful work, called out Miss Lupiola. But you could try stomping just a little louder this time, please. Lily really liked Miss Lupiola. Why do you think Lily likes her new teacher? Lily stomped a lot louder. Magnificent, cried Miss Lupiola. Lily Hippo, would you like to lead the dance? Lily loved Miss Lupiola. Lily was in charge of crashing the cymbals and banging the drums for the storm noises, growling and roaring for the fierce lion noises. Fierce means to be aggressive. Cackling and screeching for the wicked witch's noises singing the song about the very brave prince and clapping in time to all the music. When she claps in time for the music, that means she's following the beat. On the night of the play, Lily was very nervous. Why do you think Lily's feeling nervous? Have you ever felt nervous about something before? What if she forgot what to do? What if she tried to speak and no words come out? Or even worse, what if she was too loud? Lily could feel her heart thumping and her knees shaking. The room was very, very quiet. Everybody was waiting for Lily. Go on, Lily. 
whispered Miss Lupiola. Nice and loud. So what does her teacher want her to be? Nice and loud. Lily took a deep breath. Let the show begin, she said in her loudest stage voice. Lily did her best, fast stomping. Her best crashing and banging. Her best growling and roaring. Her best crackling and screeching. And her best singing and clapping. And everybody loved it. Hooray for Lily Hippo, they cried out. The sound of all that clapping and stomping and cheering was very special and very, very loud. A bit like Lily. Why was everyone saying hooray for Lily Hippo? I think they were very proud of her. And this is the end. Thanks for listening and watching the story, friends. Bye-bye.